Cool. Hey, everyone. Can you hear me okay if I speak at this volume? Yes. yes. Good. So, um, my name is Gabe Hollenby. Uh, a little about myself before I spend the rest of the time telling you what you really want to hear. Uh, I'm a principal engineer at a place called Pivotal Labs. We uh, are a company that helps all kinds of other companies build custom software of all sorts. Front-end stuff, back-end stuff, mobile apps, the whole shebang. Uh, I've been programming for a long time, 15 years professionally, uh, a little bit more than that uh, in total. I'm also a hobbyist game developer. I've built one game so far available for iOS and Android. It's really fun, but I'm not even going to plug it here. But if you're interested in knowing about my game, you can talk to me about it later. I love teaching. Uh, my favorite part about my job is actually not even the coding. It's all of the time I get to spend with the junior engineers, helping them get better at what they do. Uh, I've discovered that's what I feel most rewarded by so far in my career, and I hope to do more of that you know, for the rest of my life. Uh, that's also why I'm up here tonight, right? I think that, like Elisha said, we have a serious problem. We need more women in the tech community. And instead of just lamenting that fact, I wanted to be part of the solution. So I said, what better way than to vote with my own personal time and give time back to you guys. So I hope that uh, you guys are all interested in this program and you'll stick with it and apply after doing all of the workshops. Uh, I love sushi, it's my favorite food, and my favorite movie is The Princess Bride. So now you know a little about me. So um, we're going to be working with Mutt's Rescue, that's the uh, NGO that I've been assigned with. They're not here to talk to you tonight. Uh, it's actually a testament to the fact that they're super busy, right? They're actually out there <laughs> rescuing dogs right now. So I'm here to talk to you for them. Uh, I spent some time, I got to know uh, the two ladies who lead it, uh, and uh, I'll do my best to represent uh, what they're all about right now. So what Mets, Mutt's Rescue does uh, is basically uh, they're addressing the problem of there's too many stray dogs out there and the government doesn't do a lot of help uh, to take care of the problem. And the problem is obviously not like just get rid of the stray dogs. I mean, if you're, if you're humane and you're interested in taking care of dogs. So uh, what they want to do is educate the community to have more compassion for strays, uh, to employ ethical and humane practices, to establish healthy population control. Uh, through a few different techniques, right? One of them is to do it like trap, neuter, and release. Uh, but besides that, the other thing they can do is uh, they do feeding and boarding, right? So uh, th this is, I'm going to show you, this is like the least happy slide I have. But uh, some, so some dogs that they can't catch, they'll actually go out and put out food for them. Uh, and dogs that they have caught that they haven't found homes for yet, they have to board so they can find homes, right? Obviously, all of this stuff uh, requires money uh, and it takes a lot of logistics. Uh, and so... They, I talked with them for a while and found out that the thing they need the most help with is actually adoption. Um, a little bit, just in general, a message from them. Uh, here's some pictures of puppies. I feel like I have an unfair advantage because I have cute animals in my slide deck. Uh, and these are all animals from Mutt's Rescue. Uh, so these two cute little puppies uh, were both rescued. Uh, these are both successful adoptions. So there's the, the puppy picture and very sort of young adult pictures. Um, they both ha had a uh, very infectious disease called parvovirus, uh, which is something that most puppies get vaccinated for when they're born, but obviously strays don't get vaccinated. So not only do they just like try and catch like healthy dogs, but they also do everything they can to catch the strays and if they need help, nurse them back to health. So here's two happy success stories. Uh, here's another, look at his before and after. He's just the cutest little thing. Uh, I love I love this. Uh, I could just look at puppy pictures all day. And if you end up working with me, we can actually like go and like play with the puppies too, right? So, <laughs> anyway, um, in general, how can you help if you're interested in this? Not just by becoming part of Tech Ladies and helping me build something for them, but in general, all of you, whether or not you even join, well, you should adopt, right? If any of you are looking. Uh, if you'd like to get a puppy, definitely talk to Mutt's Rescue. They're great. Super coincidence, I didn't even know this. After I got hooked up with Mutt's Rescue, um, I noticed that a friend of mine had liked them on Facebook, and I put two and two together and realized my friend had adopted a puppy about a week before. She got her puppy through Mutt's Rescue. So small world, small country, but they're obviously doing good work. Uh, I thought that was a cool coincidence. Okay, so if you can't adopt, you should foster, right? So um, if you don't want to adopt full-time, maybe you can take care of a puppy in your house until somebody else can find its forever home. If you can't foster, you can donate, right? Taking care of all these strays costs a lot of money, uh, and they're always accepting donations uh, through Facebook. If you can't donate, you could at least share their posts on Facebook with your friends. So you can find them on Facebook at Mutt's Rescue. So just look for that. So on to the interesting stuff. How are tech ladies going to help? So 
their biggest problem is organizing and managing the process of adoption. Uh, right now, they're doing everything through Facebook. Facebook wasn't designed to handle like dog adoption process. So the biggest problem that happens is uh, you go on Facebook and Mutt's Rescue and you see all these cute puppies and you're like, oh my god, that one's really cute. I'm looking for a puppy. I'm, I'm falling in love immediately. And maybe you don't even realize that that puppy's already found, been found a home because you have to like read all the comments and say, oh, this puppy's no longer available. Um, so we want to make it easier for the, the Mutt's Rescue organizers to keep track of all the puppies that are available, what state they're in, if it's someone's with foster care, if a dog's looking for a home and boarding, whatever, and make it easy for the public to come in and see all that information and get hooked up quickly and easily. So I have a couple, sorry? No? That was the phone, okay. Um, I have a few mock-ups to share you real quickly. They're just mock-ups. There's no promise that this is exactly what we're going to build, but they're based on a conversation I had with them, and, and they said that the slides looked good. So we'll make a homepage with just some general info. Uh, those X's, by the way, are placeholders for images. You probably figured that out. But if you're not looking, used to looking at tech mock-ups, that's kind of what they represent. Um, the more interesting stuff, right, we'll have a listing with all the dogs, like their nickname, some vital stats about them, uh, a picture, and maybe some descriptions. And then you can click on them and you can see more details. Most importantly, lots of cute puppy pictures, uh, more stats, more description. And then also, I think importantly, information about you know, what it takes to be a responsible dog adopter, right? What are your responsibilities going to be? Making sure that this is really something for you. On the back end, they need a way to manage all this content. So we'll have some sort of like index dashboard where they can see all the dogs that they're currently trying to find homes for, maybe sort by different attributes, uh, keep track of which dogs are in foster care, like I said, or which dogs are at certain boarding facilities. Uh, and then, obviously, they need to be able to create uh, and manage the details of each dog. So we have some kind of form for that, you know, where they can enter all the text, they can upload photos, they can change the status of them, etc. So that's the rough outline. We'll probably build something similar to that. I promise, if you work with tech ladies, these things, three things are going to be true. At times, you will be tired. Learning to program is hard work, okay? But you will learn a lot. And most importantly, I promise I will have fun. So if you're excited, <laughs> I know, it's not fair. So <laughs> if this sounds cool to you, I hope you stick around, do all the workshops, make it to the end. Let's do this. Thank you. Can I see? Can I see?